Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Paiska, International New Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do this beautiful rainbow kind of style uh, designs with the beautiful sky and the clouds. And I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're existing uh, subscriber, there's an option to uh, press the bell notification. So this way you wouldn't miss any future tutorials from me. So let's start. Yeah, so you can see those kind of sky rainbow looking uh, tip, a super, super quick design. Uh, so I will show you two different uh, colors in there, but it just takes like a minutes really to create it. So I'm just buffing the tip and actually all the neon colors, all the pastel colors always looks the nicest on top of the white color. So sometimes if I'm creating like um, similar designs, I'm using the white background. So I'm just buffing the tips. And if you're working on the natural nails, you would just prep the natural nail, apply the white gel polish, and then you could go with the colors or you could go with the colors straight away if they're really nice, highly pigmented. So I'm just removing the dust. And this is really so super quick. So if we've got yellow in here, let's do something with the orange now. So I'll be just swapping the color. So the first one is going to be orange. And what I'm doing is I'm just painting orange on the top. And then after orange, we have pink. And I'm using the Neo Neos gel polishes. I give you the link in the description of this video as well. Then we've got some pink one. After the pink, we can go for purple. And then we can go for blue. So put some blue. Because we are going to put some design on top of it, I'm not going to be bothered about blending it. Uh, well, you can see like we've got some, uh, how you call them? The white stuff, fluffy stuff, ah, murky, oh my goodness. Clouds, oh, there we are, yeah. Because we've got some clouds on top of it, you are not going to be able to see the blend. So I'm not bothered about blending it perfectly. And I'm going to use my sponge for that. So I will just go over it like this. Uh, even if it's messy, it's going to be covered with the clouds. So there is no point of spending too much time on those blending. I just go like this. Okay, so I still have got kind of rainbowy look and already I have created some clown kind of clouds. I can pop it into the lamp. <laughs> And then on this one, we can do similar, but we'll skip yellow and we will skip orange and we will start with pink and we will go into the green. So we will go for pink. I think it looks pretty nice even on its own. Then the purple. Actually, I add drop more of this pink. And don't do the line straight, like make it to go a little bit on their side. I think it looks much nicer this way. And then we go for green. Very quick and funny design to create. So I'm just going to clean my sponge a little bit. Actually, I quite often like to use it on the white uh, tip and then uh, do it those kind of backgrounds for my flowers. I think it looks really nice too. And now I'm blending another one. So we've got another color, pop it into the lamp. 
You could also use the tips um, that is on tutorial where I have been doing an ombre with the ombre brush. You could also use those tips as well, but I find that this is more kind of interesting. And then on my mixing palette, I'm going to pop in a little bit of the white gel, the paint on French gel, of course, my favorite one. And we are going to paint some clouds. So just a little bit on my mixing palette. Then my fine liner brush. Just a wee shape of the clouds I want to indicate. And then I find that actually doing it with the one stroke brush is so much quicker. And I can show you that guys. So I've got my one stroke brush, just dip it in, in one side, the higher point. And now I'm going to do those beautiful clouds. So that's a very quick way of doing it. And one more in here. So we have got like a wee clouds. Now let's blend this one a bit more. And then let's paint some stars. So I'm just taking my fine liner brush. I'm going to paint some little stars. So you can see those kind of designs like comes up within a couple minutes time, but they look really pretty. Okay, and then dotting tool to finish it off with the dots. I try to I say try, but sometimes I use it. I try to don't use my fine liner brush for um, doing a fine, like um, dots because it's pretty damaging for the brush. And I can pop it into the lamp. Oh, it looks very bright, full and colorful. And you can see it like the blend doesn't like look bad once we put the clouds on top of it so it's no point of wasting the time on doing it perfect so let's start again i'm just taking my fine liner brush doing the shape of the cloud so basically what you do is like you're going with your hand and you're trying to be like as messy and as shaky as possible to paint the clouds so pretty shaky movement and then pick up the paint on the one side of the brush, blend it a little bit so there is not too much product. And now we are going to blend that out. Again, the longer time we spend, the nicer results we will get. So maybe on this one, I will go a little bit nicer. We can prolong the cloud. And on this one, They would actually, I was doing some 3D painting as well. And I think that will look pretty cool as well if we would apply a top coat and then the clouds on top of the top coat because that will kind of give an even more 3D dimension. Dimension. And one more on the top and here. If you don't paint those white line, like the fading might be too gentle. So you do really want that white line and then just blend it, blend it, blend it. A little stars. And again, when I'm placing the stars, I'm, I'm just placing them in the places where I feel they a bit empty.
and don't make them too symmetrical like make some li like some thicker thinner bigger smaller all sorts of different shapes and I'm missing one on the opposite side and then just a couple tiny dots it's like um, similar kind of looks like uh, from the kids story with the beers was a dream beers I don't know um, again the English name for the story but it was one of my favorite stories when I was a child Again, in Polish it was Troskliwe Misie. And this one is almost ready as well. I can pop it into the lamp. They look so pretty. And you can see it like here. You don't... Actually, I'm missing the dots on this one now. <laughs> uh, you cannot see uh, the way we have created this background. I think it's looking more interesting than just a straight ombre. But if you really like to know how to do the ombre with the brush, you can just go back to my previous tutorials and check that out, also out as well. But I prefer this look for the clouds. Pop it into the lamp. And then we can top coat this one as well. So if you would start painting the clouds on top of the top coat it will give you even much nicer results more kind of 3d looking ones and i do really recommend it to try it because um, i have created similar designs when i was painting some sceneries this one can go in uh, if you're new in here and you didn't see it like there is lots of tutorials as well like on those news on one stroke on unicorns and um, other different things either coming up or already on the channel because uh, uh, I love uh, producing all those step by steps. I'm just going to finish curing this tip. So it needs to pop into the lamp. And we was also doing a beautiful rings. I need to show you them guys too. And I'm going to add a couple of stars on this one because I feel like it does really need it, those dots. And the stars and what is great about the paint on French gel that you don't need to cure um, top coat it and it's still going to be okay and safe so the cameraman just passed me the rings and I can show you that guys as well if it's your first ever tutorial you're watching me uh, on the channel they are also those beautiful rings uh, so they are fully made out of the acrylic you can make them from the gel as well and actually if you want guys like i can produce the tutorial with the gel as well now let me pop them all into the fingers and i think they are just fantastic those i can squeeze that of course more in but i just don't want well, today we are so uh, those rings are on my channel as well really nice big bling bling and that's what i love and this one can pop into the lamp and I show you all the final results from all the tips which we have created. So I think it is, a, as I say on the beginning, it's a very quick and uh, easy way of doing this tutorial, like those type of rainbow sky designs. And I, I totally love them. So this one should go here because they can then, then can go in a kind of order. And then this one is cooked as well. So I can pop it out from the lamp. So yeah, that's the beautiful look which we have done today. And I can show you them with the light, with out of light reflection. There we are. <laughs> 